Immigration remains open at all three South African main airports, Oratambo International, Cape Town International and King Shaka International. As of Wednesday, March 18th, there is a travel ban on foreigners from high-risk countries. These countries are China, Italy, the UK, Thailand, South Korea, Spain, France, the US, Iran and Germany. South African citizens returning from high-risk countries will be subjected to testing and self-isolation or quarantine on return to SA. Any foreign citizen who has visited a high-risk country in the past 20 days will be denied a visa to enter South Africa. Passengers arriving from Hong Kong, Portugal and Singapore are seen as medium risk. They will be subjected to high-intensity screening. Travelers from medium-risk visa-free countries will now have to apply for a visa to visit SA and will have to have a certificate confirming that they have undergone a test that they are coronavirus-free. SA citizens are advised to refrain from all forms of travel to other high- and medium-risk countries. Travel is not banned, but is highly discouraged. Country South Africans are banned from travelling to due to COVID-19. Colombia, Denmark, Italy, Kenya, Latvia, Moldova, Norway, Oman, South Korea, Ukraine, El Salvador, Estonia and India. These lists are subject to change in line with the risk rating of the World Health Organization. South Africa has 72 ports of entry into the country, which are land, sea and airports. Of the 53 land ports, 35 will be shut down. Lesotho, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, Botswana and Namibia are all affected. For now, entry to and from these countries will still, however, be allowed, with the exception of Lesotho, where all borders are closed. Two of the eight seaports will also be closed. While no passengers will be allowed to travel at these ports, cargo ships trade will still be allowed. MSC Cruises will stop all remaining SA cruises for the cruise season ending in April 2020. The travel regulations under a state of disaster also limit charter flights to airports with the ability to conduct health screenings. Cargo flights remain allowed, but airplane crew from high-risk countries are subject to 21 days of quarantine.